Hey fishing friend, JC here with Rad Railing Fishing. You know, I'm sitting around the house today, I'm thinking, it is a gorgeous day out. It's 9.30 in the morning, the wind is low, it's overcast, and we got a good tide. I'm supposed to get my second vaccine shot today at 6.30, so I'm thinking, let's do a quick and easy trip. Keep it simple, grab a rod, grab the basic essentials, head down and get like maybe five dozen shrimp, and I'm gonna go over and fish an area today that I haven't fished in a very long time. I've already got the Predator PDL on top of my car. I fished yesterday with a buddy of mine. We caught a few trout, but we had a terrible day of fishing, man. We fished like eight hours on the water and only caught like maybe 10 trout and a couple little dink snook. But today, a quick trip. I'm gonna head down to the bait shop and get about five dozen shrimp. And yeah, we're just gonna see what we can make happen. I'm gonna launch on this little beach area down here. It's around a public boat ramp. I've never launched there, but I think I, I should be okay. I generally don't come down in this area very often because I had my car windows busted out two times down here at this boat ramp when I used to have a boat, and that's an expensive adventure. But anyway, I'm going to head down there. I'm going to take a risk today, and um, yeah, it's broad daylight. Hopefully nobody's going to mess with my car and break in and try and steal anything out of it. But yeah, we're going to get this kayak launched and head over to this spot, dunk some live shrimp for a few hours. And uh, yeah, I got I to gotta be out of the water by four o'clock. That'll give me time to get cleaned up and head over and get my second vaccine. I'm feeling good about that. I tell you what, I just can't tell you how comfortable and how much peace I have in my life now, knowing that I'm protected against COVID after a year of being concerned about getting the virus. Uh, yeah, I'm already 94% protected. So anyway, all right, enough jabbing you guys. Let's get on some fish. Fishing today with a Pen Pursuit 3 and an Ugly Stick GX2 6 foot 6 medium. I got about a number one hook on here. 25 pound test monofilament leader. And I'm just gonna start out free lining. The shrimp is my plan. And my little, I got pinfish all over my little, my little shrimp. And I don't see any fish up in here at all. Cast out here by these rocks. I caught a nice snook over there one day along those big rocks. Right after they first put them in, man, I came down here with a pinfish, man. I mean, it did not take long at all. I dropped that freaking pinfish in the water and balzam, got me a big old snook over there. That was a fun shore fishing trip that day. There he is. Oh, and I'm afraid I got pinfish, guys. I'm afraid I'm messing with pinfish here pinfish and little snappers i ain't giving up yet tell you what you can burn through some shrimp quick now i mean i think i burnt this is about two dollars worth right here i appreciate my patreon supporters thank you so much thank you so much for sharing your hard-earned money to help this channel out it's, oh no 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 braided line braided line it's all wrapped up come on now ah what the heck look look at the tip of my rod doggone it man i only got one rod i can't afford to be all tangled up here oh my gosh come on please oh no 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 not when the fish are biting don't do this dang it how does it do that the key to getting a braided tangle out is to be gentle. Don't force it. And it helps <laughs> if you have fingernails. That's, that's another good tip for getting tangles out of braided fishing line. But if you just be gentle with it and get that thing to pull out most of the time. Before I had a kayak, I always dreamed of fishing over here. I used to fish over there on the bank and I used to wonder if I could cast and reach this seawall right here from over there. See if I could catch some sheep's head. Now that I've got a kayak, I hardly ever come over here. Oh, it is a beautiful day. I mean, just totally freaking overcast. I'm telling you, it is nice out here. I'm so glad I decided. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Oh, 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 good fish. Yeah. All right. All right. Whoa, baby. All right, he's going berserko. He's going berserko. What do we got? What do we got? Little Jackie. We got us a little Jackster. 
All right. We'll take it. We'll take it. We got the little Jackie Jackie. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Woo. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's see if we got another one in there. Ooh, oh my gosh, I just got hammered. I just got hammered. Heck yeah. We got fish, boys. We got fish. Feels good to be fishing in the Predator PDL, guys. Love this kayak. Don't get me wrong. My Autopilot 120, that thing's fun, but feels good to get the exercise. My legs were like rubber yesterday after I fished for eight hours out on the water. Actually, about six hours on the water, I think. But yeah, my legs were like flipping rubber. But like right now, I'm kind of holding on to this piling. To keep me positioned. Oh, here he is. Here we go. Keep me positioned. If I was in the... Oh, 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 oh. If I was in the autopilot, oh, nice, man. If I was in the autopilot, of course, I'd be spot locked, right? We got a good mango snapper. Hey, 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 hey. We might have a keeper here. We might have a keeper, guys. Huh. Guys, I had a subscriber. Gave me a yak gear bump board. Heck yeah. Now that's the way to measure fish right there. That dude's almost 11 inches. That's a keeper mang. Heck yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, baby. Got us a keeper mangrove snapper. I love it when a plan comes together. A little short fishing trip, having a good time in my old town kayak. Fishing with some live shrimpies, baby. Getting on them. Well, I knew there was a good one down there. I knew there was a good one down there. I mean, he, he flipping. He hammered that thing the first time I threw it up in there. You free line, oh, there he is. When you free line shrimp, a lot of times you just leave slack in your line and you watch your line. And you watch to see if that line goes thunk. You'll see it whenever you get a hit, it'll go thunk or the line will start moving. That way it gives that shrimp an opportunity to be able to swim around. Oh, I lost him swim around down there because you don't have tension on the line he can move around more freely right yeah we got some really good shrimp to fish with today come on come on come on come on oh 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 big 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 nice got to be a keeper oh yeah big mang man nice mang definitely a keeper definitely a keeper oh no doubt about it Big old fat mangrove snapper. I'll take it. Another keeper. Easy keeper. Number two in the box. Nice. Well, when I came out here, my goal was to catch whatever I could catch. Oh, here we go. Catch whatever I could catch. Now my goal is to catch a limit of mangrove snapper. Because I got me a good little mangrove snapper hole right here. Yeah, he's nine inches. See ya. The way you say I love you too is like a rain on an old tin roof. And your hand fits right into mine. Just like a needle in a groove. Some things just go better together. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, baby. Oh, we got, a, we got another keeper here. We got another keeper. Well, this is the biggest one of the day. The biggest one of the day. This is a good one right here. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we got another keeper. Yep, another 10 and a quarter, another keeper. Man, guys, I am loving this bump board. Very nice. He got me rocked up. Oh no, I lost it all. I lost it all, I'm gonna have to re-lead her, guys. Whenever I'm catching little fish and I have to re-lead her, I just put the braid and the monofilament together and I do an overhand knot, like as if you were tying your shoe, but I put it through the loop three times to three times and then pull it tight and then pull the two ends tight and that knot right there is plenty sufficient for these little fish and it'll actually go through the eyes of the fishing pole yeah buddy that works good right there oh the perfect day man overcast out here nice and cool it was burning up hot yesterday wow now this is nice very nice Come on, fish, where you at? Just had two back-to-back -back hits right there. Oh, here he is. Oh, 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 good fish. Good one. Oh, we got another keeper here. We got another keeper here. Oh, it's a grouper. <laughs> Cag, Cag grouper. Oh, man. 
That would have been a good snapper if that was a snapper. We'll take it, a little grouper. Pretty blue fins on him, doesn't he? Nice, thanks man. Yeah! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that is a big snapper there. That is a big man. Oh, another keeper. Number four, baby. Dude, you're going to taste delicious in my frying pan. Ten and a half. Number four in the box. Uh. All right, all right, all right. Got us another keeper, baby. Got us another keeper. Man, he hit that thing like a bolt of lightning. Oh, jam! That was a hard hitting mangrove snapper there. Need to get back over there. I'm not sure which piling it was though. They all look the same. Oh, that was a good keeper, man. Oh, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. Ooh, 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 he's a lot bigger than I thought he was. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, woo. Surprise catch. He is so close. I'm gonna let him live for another day. See ya. Oh, there he is. There he is, there he is. There he is, ooh, big man. Big man, another keeper. Big snapper. Big old keeper, man. Oh, ho, ho, big fat daddy man here. Big fat daddy man. Another keeper. Number five. Nice. Limit a mangrove snapper. <laughs> I tell you, I am so glad I decided to come out here and go fishing. It is overcast, man. The breeze is blowing. It's nice and cool out here. My goodness, yesterday it was 95 degrees out on the water. Today, it feels like it's about 75. Oh, it's beautiful. Got a lemon, a mangrove snapper, and we still got like a dozen and a half shrimp left. Nice. Well, let's keep fishing, see if we can find something bigger around here. I know there's keeper mangrove snapper. That's cool. I'm coming back tomorrow, maybe. All right, let's get on it. Guys, 99.9% .9 of the fish that I catch on 25 pound test right here. I get it at Walmart, buck 87 for 250 yards. I'm telling you, I don't waste my money on fluorocarbon and I catch the living bejeebies out of fish. I started kayak fishing about, what, a year and a half ago, two years ago. I've caught a hundred or more snook out of the kayak using 25 pound test line bunches of sheep's head, loads of pompano, a bunch of drum, all these mangrove snapper and sea bass and red grouper, all these fish that you guys see me catch, I catch on a $1.87 spool, 250 flipping yards of monofilament line. I will not, I refuse to pay a bunch of money for fluorocarbon leader. Just my opinion, guys, you probably don't agree, but I think it's a farce. I think it's a total farce. I don't think fluorocarbon line makes any difference compared to monofilament. I just don't believe it, and I'm not gonna waste my money on it. I ain't doing it, I ain't doing it, I ain't doing it. Well guys, no doubt about it, if you can find the keeper mangrove snapper, you can limit out. I am so glad I got out of the house today. All of those fish today were caught on a number one hook. Not a one on, but a number one hook. Small, small, small hook. It hides really well in those shrimp tails. And those mangrove snapper, they generally will hit a shrimp in the tail. So we did good today. Well, I mean, we loaded up on the snappers and we still caught some keepers after we limited out. You know I'm going back to that spot. No doubt about it. Well, thanks for coming along for this adventure. Thumbs up for appreciated. And everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.